Here is a single widget with a logo at the center containing a background color, a border radius. As shown in the animation here, in this session you will learn how to animate changes to multiple properties like background color, border radius, logo alignment position and margin of the widget, all of them animating at once in parallel. So how do we animate multiple properties like margin, border and padding on a single widget? In Flutter, we can do it using animated container. It provides us with built-in animations for multiple properties. Whenever you change to a new value on any property, it will automatically animate to the new value. And note that the child itself is not animated and any of the nested widgets inside the child widget are also not animated. And here are the properties that you can animate using animated container. You can animate properties like border, border radius, background images, shadows, shapes, height, width, padding, alignment and more. Now let's take a look at the code implementation of uh, how to implement an animated container and animate its properties. So here we have our main class called my app which is a stateless widget and the stateless widget is building a material app with animated container demo as its home widget. The animated container demo itself is the widget that is showing the title bar and the body here. And this animated container demo widget is a stateful widget because we will be changing some of its uh, uh, widget properties like color, border radius and margin. So these are the state variables of the animated container demo widget. So here we have its implementation. So it is implemented as a scaffold widget containing the app bar showing the animated container title here. And its body is implemented with a center widget wrapping a column widget. So here we have the column widget containing the animated container widget and uh, four buttons as shown here. And this is the code implementation of the animated container widget uh, with a margin declared and a box decoration which displays this background color and border radius here. And the duration parameter here specifies how long the animation should run whenever the, there is a change in one of these properties. Uh, as you can see we have three properties margin, color and border radius. And finally, we have the uh, child widget containing the Flutter logo at the center with a size of 80. Uh, currently, the Flutter logo is occupying the full size of the animated container widget. That is because uh, this is how a container widget constraints work. It is applying tight constraints on the logo. Uh, and because of the tight constraint, the logo is stretched to fill the whole uh, animated container widget. So here we have four buttons to change each of the property that we like to animate. The change color button will nicely change from an old color to a newly generated random color. Similarly, the radius button will generate a random value for the radius and update the border radius here. And the change margin will change the margin around the widget. We can notice the change in margin more easily if we enable Flutter Inspector, which is at the side tab here, and enable Show Debug Paint option here. You can see our column containing the animated container uh, with the, the slight padding at the outside and the margin applied here, and our Flutter logo of filling the widget here. And once you change margin, you can see that the margin value is increased randomly here. And similarly, when you uh, press change all button, uh, it will animate all the properties at once. So we have new value generated for a color, radius and margin. And the animated container is animating automatically to the newly generated values by itself. 
Let's take a look at how this is implemented. So here we have the raised button for change color. Uh, when we receive callback on the on press method, we are calling a method called change color. And this change color is simply changing the attribute color uh, to a newly generated random value. Uh, this, this generate color method here generates a new random value and assigns it to the color property. Similarly, the radius is also changed to a newly randomly generated value and margin as well. And uh, we have the change all method also declared here to change all the properties with random values all at once. Since we are updating these properties inside the set state method, it will trigger a rebuild on the widget. And when a rebuild is triggered, uh, the widget will be redrawn and, the, uh, and it will be redrawn with the newly generated values. So by simply changing a property value to a new value inside the set state method, the animated container will take care of uh, automatically animating to the new value. And we can apply this to other properties of the animated container as well. So similarly, if you want to animate a change in the child position alignment inside the animated container, how do we do that? Let's take a look at the code implementation for it. So here in this code, the Flutter logo is the child widget of the animated container. Now we are going to add alignment property uh, for this child widget and then we change its alignment and see how the animated container animates the change in its alignment. Let's declare the alignment property along with the other state variables and we should initialize our alignment property to a default value in the init state method. And then we should set this alignment value in our animated container. So we go to animated container and simply add uh, the property alignment set to the value alignment. So when I run this code now you can see that the Flutter logo is now uh, showing with the right correct size. Uh, that is because now the animated container is applying loose constraints on its child widget. Uh, when it applies a loose constraint, the child widget uh, can have its desired size. So how do we change this alignment? So for that, let's add another button to change the alignment along with these four buttons. And then we will add a method to change the alignment value in, uh, inside a set state method so that it will trigger a rebuild and change the alignment to a new position. So let's add a new button for it. So here we have the code to add new button for the alignment change and this will call a method called change alignment and this method is declared here and this method will simply change the alignment inside the set state method. So the alignment is switched between either the center or the bottom center. So whenever you tap on the change alignment button, it should switch between these two values. Now let's run this code. So now we have the change alignment button and you tap on this button, you can see that the logo is changing its alignment position either to the bottom center or the center of the animated container widget. And before we finish with the animated container, there is one more thing that we can do. Uh, we, can add an, we can add a curve parameter to the animated container and set a customized uh, effect. So there are a lot of effects that are available uh, using the curve parameter. Uh, here we are setting an elastic out. And now if we run this code, you will notice the change. Now, whenever I change uh, the mar a margin or a radius, you can see there is a slight bounce in effect. So in order to use animated container, you simply have to implement the normal container using the animated container widget and change its properties 
inside set state method so that it triggers a brief build on the animated container widget and the animated container will take care of animating to the new value automatically.